Uh, my wife called the homosexual. He stay with me. He stay with me. He ain't no trouble. He don't never come downstairs. He don't ring. He don't answer the door. One time he answered the door, he, hold, he heard the bell ring. I guess the sound of ding dong just did something to this motherfucker. <laughs> you know, he don't do shit around the kids. That's okay. But he a man. But I asked him, I said, man, I said, what possessed you, man, that like a little booty, little, you know, little booty hole? I, I got asked. I tell like it is. You know what I mean? Why the fuck do you like booty hole? Because I can't understand it. Now, you know, it's not that I don't like it, it's just that, um... It's something just took over. What the fuck took over you? What the fuck urged you to like it? That's like Isaac Hayes and Barry White laying in the goddamn sauna. And I just talking about a show like to lick your ass. And Barry White be like, show you right. Certain things you just don't play with, man. Kids, you don't play with kids. You don't play with the Lord and all that kind of stuff, you know. See, black folks, I love my people. I've been black a long time, you know. But the Million Man March, I ain't going no goddamn Million Man March. Fuck that. Ain't nothing gonna change. You ain't gonna march me the fucking death. You crazy, the motherfucker. <laughs> Only motherfucking place I'm marching. I'm for Jesse and them. I'm sick of that. Jesse Jackson, Reverend Al Sharpton. Now they say Reverend. They say Reverend Al Sharpton and Reverend Jesse Jackson. But I'll never hear him saying nothing about the Lord. I got a problem with that. But Jesse said, I don't give a fuck what Jesse said. I ain't showing up. I ain't helping nobody do shit. Y'all can talk about me all you want. I don't give a fuck. I've been marching for 43 years. Shit's still the goddamn thing. I still got the same sign I had in 67. Help, please help. Something you got to help your motherfuckers help. I tell my brother, my brother, my brother, like I tell you, he's crazy. You know, he's been crazy a long time. See, old folks, back in the day, back in our day, you know, we, you know, we spiritual people. We pray all the time. I knew something was wrong with my brother because he hollered all the motherfucking time. Anytime some bitch holler, ain't nothing wrong with him. Something wrong with him. Ah! What, what the fuck he hollering for? At the breakfast table. Ah! My wife holler. Don't worry about it. I, something wrong with you. Motherfucker keep hollering. I think he holler one more motherfucking time and take this hammer and knock the fuck out of his ass. And my mama always let him sleep, sleep with me because I always told him like it is, let him sleep with you. But he can't start that goddamn hollering, mama. That motherfucker get up 3, 4 o'clock in the house just be roaming and shit. When he got up, I'll be right behind that motherfucker. I'm talking about he ain't going to hurt nothing. You ain't sleeping with this bitch. I don't know what the fuck this retarded son of a bitch going to do. And now they always change stuff. He's not retarded no more. He's mentally challenged. He's retarded. Sick fucker. Quit playing with the motherfucker. He's mentally challenged. He's mentally sick. My auntie had a nervous breakdown. Anytime motherfuckers just sit there and stare at the motherfucking light. I said, auntie, what's she saying? I said, mom, what's she staring at? No, no, don't worry about it. Don't fucking worry about it. You see something wrong with that bitch? Look at that bitch. That's the first time I ever cursed. I was like seven, eight years old. I said, look at that bitch, mama. Something wrong with that muscle. And all black folks crazy motherfucker they kept in the back. They always kept that motherfucker way in the goddamn back. The uncle was staying in the back. Wouldn't let the motherfucker come out. When you get mail, go to the store, and everything, you slide shit under the fucking door. <laughs> black folks got rules. We got rules like a motherfucker, just like cards. White people play poker, bridge. We play big whist, spades. And we'll tear that motherfucking house up. We'll tear that place up. Your table be fucked up, chipped all on the fucking time. <laughs> get on it, motherfucker. Get on it, motherfucker. Renig, you pull your pistol on the motherfucker, Renig. I'm telling you. My cousin said, man, we're having a car party, Bernie. Come on, man. I said, man, I don't know, man. He said, please come, Bernie. I'm telling everybody you're coming. I said, okay, man. So I came. Boston. I swear for Lord. When I got there, police were there. Fire department was on the side. SWAT was in the goddamn trees. They had my cousin handcuffed in the back seat. 
I told the police officer, wait a minute, sir. Said, That's my cousin. I said, let me talk to him. He said, you better talk to him. I said, cuz, what's going on? He said, man, fuck that bitch, man. That motherfucker bitch kept, man, fucking around, man. I said, what'd she do? Every time I turned around, she was draw for him, motherfucker, draw for him. <laughs> These motherfuckers playing Uno. <laughs> she ain't do nobody else like that. Draw for, draw for, draw for. I kill that bitch. <laughs> now, you ever play Uno? Uno will make you kick a motherfucker ass now. Boy, I played Uno the other day, man. We remember we sitting up there playing. He said, seven cards. All right, seven, five, four, three, two. Cool. Okay, no problem. All right, red, red. Skip, skip, skip. Reverse, reverse, go, 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 go. Draw two, ain't no problem. Right on, right on. Skip again, skip again. Yellow, yellow. Yeah, yeah, yellow, yellow. Draw four. Reverse. Draw four. You got one more motherfucking time, man, I'm telling you. You got one more motherfucking time, boy. Cause black folk, we serious. Everything we do is serious. And we'll argue about any motherfucking thing. When we argue about anything, I ain't never, man, I ain't never used to smoke reef. I never really smoked no reef. Drugs was never my thing, because I'm already fucked up. <laughs> but for some reason, when you smoke reef, Reef will make you feel like you intelligent, make you feel like you talking about some shit. <laughs> and the shit don't be nowhere near intelligent like a son bitch. You take a pull, then you, when you get older, and you reflect back on what the fuck you done said, you be saying some sick ass shit. <laughs> you mix a little turpentine with a little motherfucking Pepsi, man. The motherfucker tastes just like ginger ale. <laughs> And the motherfucker smoking, what you think about it? Now, well, black folk, we got black folk, you know, black folk, we gotta get, we gotta get stronger though, you know, we do. We gotta be tighter. We gotta quit asking people to give us some. Keep looking for shit. Keep asking motherfucker to march for us. We gotta take care of our fucking home. I'm telling you like it is, because I had a dream. I had a dream, man, that I was in a, uh, I, I, I passed, I went to heaven. You know, and I was with a Mexican guy and a white guy. And I said, man, I want to go to heaven. He said, God, right down the road. I said, well, how far? He said, just a half a mile. He said, but your name ain't on the list, Bernie. You know your name ain't on the goddamn list. <laughs> I said, well, wait a minute, man. I said, I'm going to try. He said, well, you got one more chance to make it. If you can go down there and you ask the Lord a question and he can't answer it, you might get into heaven. Well, me, the white guy, the Puerto Rican, we walked our ass on down there, and sure enough, God was on the gate, reading the National Enquirer. And the white guy said, I'm going to go first. You know, he always got to go first. I'm going to go first. He went over to the Lord. He whispered in the Lord's ear. He said, who discovered America? And the Lord laughed, Christopher Columbus. He said, go, I'm sorry, go on on down the hill. The Puerto Rican said, I got it, I got it. He said, who sang? How many was in the Beatles? I said, go get the heck on out of here, man. Four, man. Go on, go on, go on. I said, okay. So he looked at me. I looked at him. He looked at me. I looked at him. And I whispered, and I whispered something to the Lord. And he looked at me. And he looked up. Look down. Yeah, mm. Open the gate! I walked on in. The white guy said, that's bullshit, man. How the fuck did he get in there? That's bullshit. He said, hey, father, what did the black guy ask you? He asked me, when was black people ever going to stick together? 